Hi boys and girls. So yesterday for your writing, you brainstormed on what you thought the best pet was. And from watching my video, you saw that I put a star next to a rabbit. In my opinion, I think that a rabbit is the best pet. So today I am going to go ahead and write my first draft. So I'm gonna turn to that next page, page six, after my brainstorming page that looks like this. And I'm gonna write my first draft with the title, The Best Pet. So as you can see, it says use your brainstorming ideas to organize your thoughts. So let's talk about this a little bit. So first, it wants you in your topic sentence to catch your reader's attention. So to introduce what it is that you're talking about, to introduce what your topic is, and then also if you can provide some kind of hook. So what's gonna draw your reader in? What's gonna capture their attention so that they wanna keep reading and they're gonna wanna change their minds and maybe possibly agree with your opinion? And then after that, you need to be sure to state your opinion. So I put those together in my topic sentence box, okay? The next thing that you need to do, just like we talked about in my video yesterday, was use facts, details, and examples to support your opinion. So not only do I have a supporting reason, but I also give many details to make that main supporting reason stronger. I also went and I looked up some facts online about rabbits so that I know that what I'm saying is true. Yes, this is my opinion, but these are also factual reasons why I think that a rabbit would be the best pet. And then at the end, my closing sentence or conclusion, I'm going to restate my opinion or draw a conclusion. I don't wanna say the same exact sentence that I used in my topic sentence. I am restating it, but I wanna use some different words, okay? So we're gonna go over that together. So for my topic sentence, I'll zoom in on that. I started, remember your topic sentence is blue and then your opinion is green. And as you can see, these boxes are a little bit small and I wanted to give more details. So all I did, I'll show you, was right on the back like we do in class. So for my topic sentence, I wrote, pets play a special role in people's lives. There's one pet that stands out the most to me though. So that's kind of my catching my reader's attention in my introduction sentence. It says that, you know, what my paragraph is about. It's about what I think the best pet is. And then I'm going to state my opinion in green. Green means go. I can't go until I state my opinion. So in my opinion, the best pet is a rabbit. Let me tell you why. That was kind of um, a transition sentence for me. Let me tell you why. So I don't just hop into things right away. So you should know that after that, I need to slow down and come to a stop with my supporting reason. So my supporting reason, sh reason should support my topic sentence, why I think that a rabbit is a good animal or the best animal. So you know that we need transition words. So I took this, which was also in your packet, linking words and phrases. I thought that this was a great resource, so I don't always use first, second, third all the time. So I started with the word to begin with. So I wrote, to begin with, rabbits are very friendly. I could have just stopped there, but I'm not. I'm gonna tell why rabbits are so friendly, okay? They get along well with people and not to mention kids. You don't have to worry about a rabbit being aggressive or biting you, okay? So that was my first supporting detail or supporting reason, but I also stopped I not only gave my supporting reason, but I gave extra details to explain why it's so friendly. What does a rabbit do that is so friendly, okay? Next, I chose a new word instead of saying second, I chose equally important. Equally important, rabbits are easy to care for. All right, I didn't just stop there and keep going because the people reading this might be like, okay, what makes them so easy to care for? You need to feed them and give them water but you don't have to be home after a short period of time to take them on walks. Therefore, rabbits are great for families with busy schedules, okay? I know that that is a big argument for a lot of people. A lot of people can't have a dog or something like that because um, you have to be home with them. You can't leave them home for too long. They have to go out. You have to play with them a lot. So of course I treat my rabbit wonderfully, but I don't have to worry about being home all the time to take it out. And then, of course, I'm gonna have a third reason, so I chose finally. Finally, rabbits are intelligent. 
again, I didn't just stop there. Okay, I slowed down and now I'm stopping at my details. They can be trained to use the litter box and do tricks. They also recognize their owner by voice and sights and even jump on your lap when they see you, okay? And then my conclusion sentence states, in conclusion, rabbits are the best pet. How could you say no to one after this? So I even kind of added it an extra little closing. How could you say no after reading all these facts, okay? So again, I think it's really important when you have an opinion, okay? I know your opinion are based on your thoughts, okay? And it doesn't always have to be factual, but facts make your thoughts and your opinions stronger. So if I didn't look up how I knew rabbits were intelligent, but if I didn't look up exactly how and exactly what they did that made them so intelligent, this public reason wouldn't have been as strong, okay? So if you have that extra time and you want to take it to the next level, you need to go ahead and maybe look some things up to add details that make it even stronger. Now really quickly, the last thing that I want to point out is when I say that they're very friendly, all of my additional details that I have in this box have to do with them being friendly. This first box here is all about their friendly and how. The second box is all about how they're easy to care for. And then I explain how. How are they so easy to care for? I'm not writing about how they're friendly in here because that's not what this box is about. This is not what this supporting reason is focused on. And then what's my last one? I bet you can guess. It's about, if you said how they're intelligent, you're correct. So I'm not gonna write anything about they're intelligent and then I only have to feed them a little bit and I don't have to clean their cage too often. That has nothing to do with why they're intelligent. So you want each one of these kind of like, I like to call them star ideas because I have my star ideas, my star reasons, and then details to support it. They all need to be organized, okay? So that's what you're gonna do today. Use pencil doing this. Um, and then tomorrow I will model your final draft for you. All right, have fun. Can't wait to read your opinions.